all third-party true transitions can be saved as presets. This is a huge deal. So if you've made a cool custom transition, you can save it forever. Just select the transition on the timeline, then, unintuitively, go to the effect controls and click this triple line icon. It's called a hamburger. Now you can click Save Preset, which also gives you the option to save the transition duration. Amazing! Here's how I've named and organized my transitions. Note that they have verbose names because I don't have to search them manually. I use my second keyboard to apply these. You probably don't have such a thing, but if you want one, I've linked to a playlist below. I recommend the Hasu USB converter method, but for most people, Lua macros will be good enough. Furthermore, if you apply a preset transition on top of an existing transition, it'll use the existing transition duration, which is actually the behavior that I want. But then, if you apply that same transition preset again, now it'll change the duration to whatever the preset uses. Amazing! I wish everything in Premiere worked this well. Weirdly, most of Premiere Pro's stock transitions cannot be saved as presets, which is actually fine because most of them suck anyway. You just watched one chapter from a longer transitions tutorial, which you can also watch right now for free from the link below. Or just click this little thingy on screen right now. The tutorial covers nearly every useful transition and every transitions vendor. I'll see you there.